Hi there everybody, welcome to this video on how to suggest a mechanism from a rate equation and an overall balanced equation. If you want to see a short video first on the definition of what a rate determining step is, as we're going to use that theory for this and where it comes from, then I've linked that video in the description below. So in order to be able to suggest mechanisms, first let's do it the other way around. Let's see how we can get the overall equation and the rate equation from a mechanism and then we'll do it backwards to fully understand what is going on. Here we've got an example mechanism. This is a two-step mechanism. The first step is the slow step and that is the rate determining step and the second step is a fast step. So how do we get the overall equation from the mechanism and how would we get the rate equation from the mechanism? The overall equation is just the two steps added together with any intermediates or catalysts cancelled out. Now an intermediate is something that's formed in one step and consumed in a following step. So if we look at this species here, this HOI, we can see it's formed in one step and it's used up in a following step. That is an intermediate. And a catalyst would be the opposite of an intermediate that would be consumed in one step and reformed in a later step. There's no catalyst here. So we cancel out our intermediate and we write whatever's left. On the reactant side, we've got one molecule of H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, two molecules of HI, hydrogen iodide, and that goes to the products, two molecules of water and a molecule of iodine. To get the rate equation from a mechanism, the rate equation only includes the reactants in the rate determining step, in the slow step. All rate equations start rate equals k, lowercase k, and just the reactants in the slow step, the rate determining step. So we've got one molecule of H2O2, one molecule of HI, and that one molecule becomes first order. So let's use that same example again then, but let's pretend we've got no idea what that mechanism is. And in the question we're given, this time the overall balanced equation and the rate equation, and we're asked to write two-step mechanism where the first step is the rate determining step. So where would we start then? Well, the rate equation always shows the reactants, so what the reactants are in the slow step, and also the number of molecules of each. In the rate equation, first order actually means one molecule of each of these in that slowest step. So we've got one molecule of hydrogen peroxide, one molecule of hydrogen iodide. And that's it. That's it for the reactants in the rate determining step. So I'm going to label this slow and this fast, and we can see what we're doing. Why next then? Well, if we look at the overall balanced equation, the two mechanism steps must add up to give this. We've used this. We've used one molecule of HI, but we've got another molecule of HI. It says there's only one molecule in the slow step, that's from the rate equation, so the other molecule must be present in the fast step. So we pop it down there. Over here then, we start looking at what products we could form. In this first step, from the atoms of the elements we've got here, we could form a molecule of water, H2O, We've only got one I, we can't change any balance in numbers because this tells us we've got one molecule of each. So we can't form iodine, we've only got one I, we'd need two to form this. So we've used two hydrogens, we've used one of these oxygens, what atoms have we got left? We just stick them together. We've got one more hydrogen left, because we had three hydrogens here, we've used two of them. We've got an oxygen left. And we've got an iodine left that's not been used. Now, anything funny looking, anything charged, often is an intermediate. And intermediates are formed in one step and consumed in the following step. And they don't appear in the overall balanced equation. So you'll see there's no HOI in there. 
Okay, so we need the products of the second step, the fast step to finish it off then. We can see we need to form two water molecules all together. So we put the other water molecule there. And we also need to form a molecule of iodine. We haven't formed it in the first step, so it must be present in the second. Now we just check that everything's balanced. Two iodines on the left, two on the right. Two hydrogens on the left, two on the right. One oxygen, one oxygen. We check it adds up to the overall balanced equation, and it does. Here we've got a second example question then, and it says predict a two-step mechanism for this reaction. The first step should be the rate determining step. So I'm going to label my step slow and fast. And remember the rate determining step, the reactants are those that are present in the rate equation. So in the slowest step we've got, since hydrogen's first order, that means there's one molecule of it in the rate determining step. We've also got one molecule of this ICL as well. Next, let's look at the overall balanced equation. We've used the hydrogen. We've got two molecules of ICL though in the overall balanced equation. There's only one molecule in the slow step, so the other molecule must be present in the fast step. Then here we need to think about the products. So if we look at these reactants in the slow step, what products could we form from these elements? Well, we could form HCl. We've only got enough to form one HCl though. And we can't form iodine. There's only one I. We can't change the balance in numbers because of this. What's left then? So we've used one hydrogen. We've used the Cl. We could also form HI. So that's what's left. We've got one hydrogen atom, one iodine remaining. Now, HI isn't seen anywhere in the overall balanced equation. That must mean it's an intermediate. So we put it on the reactant side in a fast step. Intermediates are cancelled out. They don't show up in the overall equation. If we look back at these products then, we need to form two HCl altogether. We form one molecule in the slow step, so the other one must be formed in the fast step. We haven't formed our iodine yet. So that must be formed in the fast step as well. Then let's check it balances. Two iodines on the left, two on the right. One Cl on the left, one Cl on the right. And the hydrogens are balanced as well. And this mechanism adds to the overall balanced equation and is consistent with the rate equation as well.